Hey, how y'all doing? It's me, Peter D. Chisholm, AKA Peter DC. And I think about the many times that I complain about my job here at MTA, New York City Transit Map Store. And all the bad superintendents, the supervisors on the road, the SLDs, dispatchers, the ones that were bad, the ones who act like their shit don't stink and they would shit on you to rise. I think about the asshole co-workers and the games that they play on the road, flagging wheelchairs, flagging certain stops. Um, you, you're kind enough to go around them and they stay back and let you do all the work. And then when you're near the end, that's when they want to turn and pass you with a, a empty bus. I think about all the bad passengers, the ones that if you let them, they can make your life miserable. I think about all of that and I complain, but I never quit. I never quit. Many attempts on firing me as a part of this journey, but hey, I'm still here. And many of you, you're still here. We all seem to focus on the bad things that happen in our lives. Whether you're in a relationship, your job, certain things in the family, your children, just in general, we focus on the bad things. But how many of us truly, with fair judgment, think about the good times? I mean, isn't it funny how you could have years and years of great times and one day of some negative stuff between you and the situation or the persons that you were having all these years of great times with and boom you forget all that good and all that matters is the bad thing and we become judgmental based on that one or two or three bad things but we forget the tons of good things we need to reflect and attempt to change that program you see I imagine a scale and on a scale I got this bad these bad things it could be with you I have these bad things with you but then if I'm fair and I start to look at the good things with you the good things is way heavier way heavier than the bad things and that's the situation in most cases with nearly every single one of us the good always outweigh the bad but we tend to make the bad heavier than the good and that's wrong that's just wrong I've come to this point where I have to acknowledge not the bad things but the good things and MTA New York City Transit Map Store have provided some good things in my life more, way more good things than bad. So instead of cursing my job, I'm going to be thankful and grateful for it. If it wasn't for MTA, I may have chosen a different path. 
a different path that may have led me to an early grave, certain destruction. But I chose MTA, Map Store, or maybe I should say MTA, Map Store chose me. And this journey, it was great, it was great. If it wasn't for MTA, New York City Transit, Map Store, my wife, Cassandra, wouldn't be my wife. My children wouldn't exist if it wasn't for MTA. Because I met a lot of people along this journey. And I met my brother-in-law, Clyde Bowden, rest his soul. And through Clyde Bowden, I met my wife, MTA. Many of you guys wouldn't be my family and wouldn't be my dear friends. Because if MTA didn't choose me, I would have never met you. I would have never met any of y'all. I would have been on a different path. And I couldn't call you my family. Because of MTA. Because of the rules and bylaws and regulations of MTA New York City Transit Map store. I'm a better person than I could have become. I don't smoke nothing, cigarettes, marijuana, because of the randoms. I don't do drugs because of the randoms. And that entail made me a better human being physically and mentally. Because of the 19A training that we get every year or every other year, I drive my vehicles, my personal vehicles, very well. In fact, I have never had an accident in my personal vehicles. I have never had an accident in my personal vehicles because of the training 19A with MTA. So this enhanced my life, believe it or not, and a lot of you guys as well. MTA, New York City Transit, Map Store has assisted me in owning my home. Of course, my vehicles, putting food on the table for my family, keeping a roof over their heads, providing them with clothing because of MTA. Many of the trips that I've been on I've gone many places in this world because of MTA. Because through MTA, I met quite a few of you guys. And I was introduced to World Ventures. And many of you WV and XWV members have become my family. And once y'all are my family, y'all are my family. Forever, once I love you, we family. All of this, us being who we are, going on the many trips that we've gone on, having the adventures of a lifetime because of MTA. 
I have been able to bless many of you, whether it's financially, whether it's to vent, whether it's to support you and be by your side during certain trials and tribulation. And God put me in your life for that blessing. But what I would, I haven't been able to be that blessing if I wasn't sound financially or sound just standing strong on something firm. Because many of us, we can't be a blessing to anyone if we are confused and don't know where we're going. So, again, if I was a blessing in any form or fashion to you, don't put it all on God. Because yes, he orchestrated it. But certain steps that we all have taken in life have made it possible. And with me, MTA. So, I don't want to be ungrateful. I don't want to seem negative when it comes to MTA. Because between Amsterdam, my Amsterdam family, and West Farm Depot, my West Farm family, I have way more good, way more good to reflect on than bad. Recently, my dearest Aunt Syl, that's my mother's youngest sister, she gave me some choice words that I'm so thankful of. She told me not to worry about what people say or what they think about you. Cause most people, if they have anything negative, if they're judging you and blaming you, most of the times, most of the times, those people are just rejuvenating their own dissatisfaction their own personal negative things that they weren't able to accomplish things that just it's just negative in their heart and instead of acknowledging that they are fucked up <laughs> it's easier for them to find blame at you or find some fault in you and make you the bad person to boost themselves up and make themselves great. So she said, Peter, do not worry about what people say about you. You just be you and be the best you that you can be. If something is wrong with you and you realize it, you'll change or you will attempt to change, you take it to the most high. Cast your breath on the water, look in the mirror and change what you can change and be a better person. But don't get caught up in finding fault in everyone else and not acknowledging where you messed up. So answer, thank you for your words of wisdom. Thank you because your words is a part of what makes this journey so sweet. And I love you. Thank you. Many of us are prisoners and we've become prisoners to somebody else's jail. We're really free, but because we're so concerned on what someone thinks about us we 
put ourselves in their prison, in their jail. And when we do that, that makes that person your God. Because anyone whose opinion matters that much to you, that you will go out your way and sometimes get in trouble to satisfy or try to satisfy their opinion of you makes them controller of you. They control you. And my God gives me freedom of choice. But when you are so subjected to that person or persons or group's opinion that it's going to make you be someone other than who you are, that's sad. And they're your gods. My aunt Syl is not the only person who has given me wisdom. Um, many times I've been in trouble or I was heading towards trouble. My brother DJ KJ Kenny Jones retired brother Randy Dawson and my man Clarence Houston they have said some things to help me make the right decision and not choose the wrong thing to do thank you Dorothy um, you recently became a union um, delegate but since I've known you you've always been a union delegate because you're real you don't care if you hurt my feelings you're going to tell me what I need to know you tell the truth and it's up to me to hear you and put aside my emotions and listen to your wisdom and I thank you for always staying real with me. Thank you. If it wasn't for New York City Transit, MTA, Map Store, the opportunities that have come my way through this job and through the people would have led me somewhere else. Once again, Cassandra wouldn't be my Cassandra my children wouldn't have existed. Howie, Howie Davis, you my man. And I love you, man. I've known you for 27 years and you've always been Howie Davis. I love you. My family, Brian Smith, my <laughs> Brother from another mother and father to one of my children, Fendi. <laughs> I love you, man. And congratulations on your retirement. Lou Reese, Alex from the maintenance department. I've known you for 27 years from Amsterdam days. Silvio, yo, I apologize again for not telling you. I love you, my brother, Angel. My brother, Sir Brutus, AKA Puff. Yo, you my man, you my brother. And I don't know how else to say it. I love you, man. I just love you. My brother, Jared Rose, same thing. Alfonso Blow. You right here. You right here, man. And I love you. Christopher Guy. All those throwbacks on Facebook. <laughs> I love you, my brother. I love you. Devon and Chanel. Y'all have become my family. And y'all have been on a few trips with me. Even if it's to Las Vegas. I love y'all. Y'all are my family. My brother... Johnny Picard, <laughs> I love you, man. Um, Sylvester or Sly Alexander, I refer to you as Zanda. Yo, 
blessings are coming your way. And I love you. You're not only a dispatcher in my view, you're not only a co-worker to me. You're my friend. You're my brother, Zanda. Mike Rodriguez, thank you for your patience with me. You too, I call my brother. And I love you, man. Walter, I've only known you for a few years. But you know what? I love you just the same. You've been a good friend. And you show compassion, whether you realize it or not. Just when I was able to vent your way because of certain situations concerning my son, you were there. And um, I love you, man. I love you. Um, thank you. Lourdes Alvarado. That's my light, my light, Lourdes. Um, you're where you are doing your 19A thing and I can't be angry at you for seizing the opportunities because that's what life is about. But I will always love you. You're my sister, you're my friend, you're my light. Evelyn Green, Evelyn Green. I love you. Lau, we haven't seen eye to eye on a lot of things, but when we were able to talk and talk from the heart, it was appreciated. And you're okay to me. There's always room for improvement in all of us, but I thank you. Tim, you and Marshall, y'all work hard to keep my job. Thank you so much, and I love you. Sandra, you used to be a West Farm delegate for TWU, but you've gone on to bigger things. Um, a part of the Zariga infrastructure of management, and a damn good one. But I'm not looking at that, I'm looking at when you were here. And many times, you scolded me, but you scolded me out of love. And I love you for that. Shalom and grand rising to my brothers, Jay. Yo, Jay. Our journey isn't finished. And I love you, my brother love you. I've learned a lot from you and I pray to Yahweh that I continue learning from you. Believe it or not family, you've been a blessing in my life and I thank you. Rodney, you remind me of me, a rebel, but a rebel with a cause and your cause is justifiable. I love you. Mr. Fever. Evan La Fever. Bonafide to the heart. I love you. And if any of you guys need me, man, and I can, I will. Inch, Willie Santiago. I love you. I've known you for 24 years and you've been the same Willie, the same Inch all that time. And I'm even going to tell everybody a little story about you, Inch. One time I was driving the M104s and so was he. He was my leader, or two leaders ahead of me. And we used to go across 42nd Street to 8th Avenue coming from 1st. And a 42 bus, a M42, which came out of Quill, the driver was having a seizure. 
going east while we were heading west. And somehow through all the crowds and all the traffic, Inch noticed what was happening on this bus coming this way. And he stopped his bus in the middle of traffic. You know, he pulled it over to the side, pulled up his ICC RTS, jumps off the bus, runs across the street, and he pulls on the back of that RTS going that way. And of course, everybody knows when you pull on that, it causes the interlock to stop the bus because it's like someone was pressing on the door while the bus is moving. And then he was able, once the bus stopped, without hitting anybody or hurting anyone, then he ran over, slide the little window, released the air, and was able to assist that bus operator. And it's sad that MTA management never acknowledged it. They never gave him a reward. I don't even know if they even said thank you. So I'm saying to you, Willie Santiago, my brother Inch, I appreciate you. And I thank you for what you did and what you've done, other stories that nobody know about, that you continue to do up to this, to this day. I love you, my brother. Always, always, my brother Inch. For all you retirees that helped me on my journey, thank you. Clarence Houston, Randy Dawson, <laughs> my brother Brett, my dad, Mr. Wilson Gary Gant, the original and only living member of the Invitations. You are my inspiration. And I always said to my wife and to others, if I make it to retirement, I want to be just like you because you stay grinding into your dream, into your love. You're passionate. And that just inspires me, man. I love you and I love your wife. Y'all are family to me. Mr. Gant. My other dad, Stu Reimer, I love you. And to all of y'all West, I mean Amsterdam family, man. So. Oh my gosh, it's just so many of y'all that I, I can't even, I mean, Lisa, Clark, um, my other mother, Beverly Chisholm, you were protecting me from day one. Love you. Love you, man. Um, Ron Newman, good heart. Jemison, Eddie McCardo, all of you guys. Nothing but love. If I don't mention you by name, it's not that I forgot you. It's just that there's so many of y'all that this video is going to turn into a three hour video if I attempt to name every single one. But thank you. Thank you and I love y'all. Um, you know, many of y'all have become so dear to me that it might even cause jealousy in my family. I've had many attempts on my job uh, where they try to take my pension from me. And uh, I remember the first time I was out, of all the times, the very first time was the longest period that I was out of work, not getting any money, couldn't qualify for unemployment because Technically, I'm still officially a worker, so um, until it's official, I couldn't qualify. And many of y'all, y'all will greet me, shake my hand, and when y'all shake my hand, there's something in between the 20, 40. Some of y'all gave me 100. Some of y'all gave me 200. And y'all didn't have to do that. Y'all did things that my own blood family didn't do. When I did my music, and I was selling my music, and I wrote my books, all of y'all, all of y'all have supported me. Whether you read the book or not, whether you listened to the music or not, you supported me. David Jones, who's an SLD dispatcher, 
you're family to me. Because when everybody wanted me to give them a break on a price, you gave me more than I was asking for and refused to take change because you said, Peter, you're my brother. I love you and I'm going to support you. That's what love is about. I mean, again, many of y'all have done things that my own blood family have not done for me. So how can I not acknowledge you and embrace you as family? Because you embraced me, Andrew Lopez. I remember when I was out of work, you went to that all night supermarket and you bought food and I'm thinking it's for you. And when you dropped me home, you said, yo, Pete, you forgetting your shit. What are you talking about? That grocery is yours. I can't forget that. And I will not forget that. I appreciate that. Because of MTA. To my family who's gone on to the fourth dimension, the fifth dimension, have left this dimension. Thank you. To my brother-in-law, Clyde Bowton, Rennie Myers, my birthday twin, Arthur Brown, Scream, Mike Keegan, <laughs> my brother Leon McKnight, thank you. Y'all helped pave the way for me. And um, I won't forget you. Anthony Barney, I love you. I'm not gonna say I loved you. I'm gonna say I love you because you're still around. You're somewhere. And I know that we all going to see each other again. Alvin Green, how many times you scold me as you dropped me home? <laughs> you lived in Brooklyn, I lived in Queens, and you'd always go through Queens to drop me home. Nieves, love you. You did the same thing for me as well. Can't forget you guys. I mean, there's so many of you, I can't mention everyone. But if you didn't do what you did, and if you weren't the instrument and had the impact on me that you did, I don't believe I would be having this conversation with you guys right now. So to my fourth and fifth dimension people, my family, All of my lost, present, and future family of New York City Transit and Map Store, thank you for the experience. Again, I don't know where I'd be if I chose a different path. If I was a superstar singing, I'd probably be into drugs or have compromised my sexuality because I've had to join some group just to be successful. I'd probably be a different person, have a different life. Who's to say it would have been better or worse? But I'm thankful for what I have. And I thank you for being a part of it. You know, if I died right after this video, if I died, I am honestly saying to you all, I died happy. Because I have a family like no other. I'm, a, I'm so happy that you all are a part of my family. Sister D, you've become my family. Sister you, my sister, Miss Beth and Joan, my family. 
It's so many of you, I can't even mention all. But you've become my family. My brother Justin, just met you a couple of years ago. Welcome to the depot. But I feel like I've known you all my life. My brother Drew. <laughs> Drew, you like me, man. We get in trouble. But we get in trouble because we stand up for justice and what's really right. My girl Andrea. Stay strong, baby. You're beautiful. Because of MTA, I become tighter with some of you family members of mine. And we've become, we've experienced some great things and we've gone on some journeys. My brother Cosmic 5000, Canada, <laughs> um, Staten Island, <laughs> the adventures, um, the bachelor parties. <laughs> The me fighting you because you love coffee so much. Uh, the Dorney Parks roller coaster rides. Uh, <laughs> because of MTA. Uh, puff and Blow, my dogs, my men, my brothers experiences that I've had with you guys is because of MTA and for that experience I'm thankful Alexander you're real and you've furnished some wisdom my way that most dispatchers won't even take the time to do thank you for that experience through MTA, I've had some good friends and family who I've lost, not through death, but for some reason or another, I guess we just had to go our separate ways. Shaw Ames, still love you. Barry, Felipe, still love you guys. I have family that I'm losing now, some of you some of my own blood family. But as my aunt Syl said, sometimes you have to let them go on. You don't have time for them rubbish. You don't have time for them negativity. So I don't say this with evil intentions. But if you got to go left, go. I still love you. But I'm going right, and I'm not going to turn back. Through MTA, Maps Doa, I've been able to do some things, and we've worked on some projects, and have brought me and my cousins and my brothers and sisters closer. Rough Scott, AKA David Culture, we still got things to do. Talented, love you, and I'm thankful for this experience with you. I want to tell Sess, I want to tell Devon, I want to tell so much of you guys and sisters, uh, Nisha, <laughs> Michelle, all I know, thank you for being there. My brother, Kenneth Jones. I have to acknowledge you. You've been in a, such a positive instrument in my life and a blessing. And I love you. I love you, brother. And when you hurt, I'm hurt. When you cry, I cry. And when you're pissed off, I'm ready to go to war. You've aided me and my family so much on this journey. There's no way I could end this video without acknowledging you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for this experience. Again, I apologize if I didn't mention you. 
it's just so much. So, wherever you are on this journey, if you're not homeless, if you're not hungry, if you have clothes on your back, if you have a place that you can sleep, a bed that you can lay on, if you can see with your eyes and feel with your hands, if you have the ability to walk, if you can manage yourself, you can go to the bathroom by yourself, you can function. Thank God, Yahweh, or whatever higher power you have given the name, thank, thank and be thankful. there's a lot of people out there who can't say they have what you have. For all of you who feel the world owes you something, get past that negative because the world don't owe you shit. You make it what you make it. And if you're going to sit, sulk, and feel sorry for yourself, welcome to it. But don't expect everyone and anyone to sit in that prison with you. If you don't love yourself enough to acknowledge that negative and fight it through the strength of God, what you want? Because I'm not going to sit on them better nails. I'm not. So deal with it. And hopefully, if you wise up and you seek God and his counsel and everyone positive that he sends your way, maybe, maybe you can say thank you for this experience. We all have to be fair in our overview of our situations. And if you had a relationship with the person who wore a red dress, uh, he or she fucked you. It doesn't mean the other person who comes along who's wearing a red dress is going to do the same. You have to give everybody, you should give everybody their individual chance. And don't stereotype them and put them in a group. Because in the end, you're going to be placed in a group. And a group that maybe you truly don't deserve to be in. If the good outweighs the bad, smile and say thank you. So even if I cursed you out and I offended you, did my curse out and my offense outweigh the love, the embrace, and the welcome that I've shown you? Don't let the bad outweigh the good because you will lose in the end. Because whether you believe in God or not, He has the final say. And when Jesus said, you've visited me in jail, you fed me and put me in your, your home when I was homeless, I had no place to sleep. You said, you're mistaken, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. I've never done that for you. But you did do that for someone. You don't know who that someone is and their relationship to God. So be careful. Be alert. If you're going through some bad things, maybe you shouldn't look at it as bad luck. 
But maybe you should look at how you, you know, how you have treated people. And maybe it's just, you know, karma coming back at you. Maybe it's just the reward you're reaping for your actions. I don't know. But if you can live good with people and show kindness, and sometimes let it not be about you, but put someone else before your feelings and your emotions, some good might come your way. Might. They always say the universe has a way of spitting back what you spit. So, spit good. So, I will conclude. MTA, New York City Transit, Map Store. I'm able to talk to every single one that's heard this and seen this because of MTA. You all have become my family and I love you. And I'm grateful for this journey. And I don't know where tomorrow will lead me or if I'll have a tomorrow. But no, I love you guys. I love all of y'all. MTA, thank you for the experience. My mother, Edna Chisholm. My father, Anthony Chisholm. Thank you for the experience. Cassandra, Donovan, Darian, Erica, Patricia, Peter, Anthony, Thank you for the experience. And I'll save the best for last. Yahweh, my God, my source, you've saved my life on many occasions. And even when I've done some things that wasn't so good, your grace and mercy enveloped me. Thank you, Father. Thank you for being my Father. Thank you for being my God. Thank you for making me the man that I am and the blessings that I've been to others through you. Thank you for the experience.